The Interpol guidance on managing public health risks is part of the Qatari funded Project Stadia which is there to support planning for the 2022 Football World Cup to enable information sharing and cooperation between Interpol countries um, and also to leave a long-lasting legacy in managing safe and secure events. Uh, the project itself, we've had three main work streams, the first one being a comprehensive international deep dive and review into new and emerging best practice guidance uh, and academia. The second one was a range of subject matter expert interviews with police commanders from around the world and the third one being active engagement consultation and coordination with public health officials, public health professionals, sporting bodies and event uh, managers around the world. Yeah, it's a two-phase guide for me, very, very much so. So first of all, we want to look back and learn the lessons from the COVID pandemic and then looking forward, which is important, implement biosafety measures into future major events. That's really important, that forward-looking piece. The second part is we strongly recommend that countries uh, and planners incorporate biosafety measures into their integrated and wider risk assessment process. Some key things for me, uh, the first one is to communicate um, and consult and consider biosafety management uh, in the planning, management and command of major operations. Um, the second one, which is so, so important, is to engage with and include international and national public health professionals and to involve those in incident command structures. And the third one is to really integrate these measures into our existing and future strategies, tactics and plans.